Microsoft has released Vibe Voice. This is a frontier open source text to speech model. And with this particular text to speech model, you can actually synthesize speech up to 90 minutes long with up to four distinct speakers, surpassing the typical one to speaker limits of many prior models. This means that you can generate expressive long form multi speaker conversational audio such as podcasts from text. So this is a very scalable RTTS system. It has speaker consistency and natural turn taking. So we can check out this particular demo. Uh, so they have their demo spaces. I just duplicated it. Okay. And here let's look at how expressive speech it can generate. So you have this speaker one who is a female voice and you have the speaker two a male voice. Okay. So let's listen to the audio which has been generated. I can't believe you did it again. I waited for two hours, two hours, not a single call, not a text. Do you have any idea how embarrassing that was? Just sitting there alone? <laughs> Look, I know. I'm sorry. All right? Work was a complete nightmare. My boss dropped a critical deadline on me at the last minute. I didn't even have a second to breathe, let alone check my phone. A nightmare? That's the same excuse you used last time. I'm starting to think you just don't care. It's easier to say work was crazy than to just admit that I'm not a priority for you anymore. That's not fair. Of course you're a priority. You think I enjoyed being stuck in that office drowning in spreadsheets while knowing I was letting you down? It was stressful and I felt terrible. So this is the quality of audio which has been generated over here. It is expressive. Uh, it is spontaneously generating based on the context. Okay, so this is kind of an context aware expression. So spontaneous emotion was generated in this particular audio. So here are some other demos over here. So this is for spontaneous singing. Let's just listen to that. Hey, remember See You Again? Yeah, from Furious 7, right? That song always hits deep. Let me try to sing a part of it for you. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Wow. That line. Every time. Yeah, and then this part always makes me think of the people I've lost. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. This is not definitely in tune of this song, but it is trying to generate spontaneous singing over here. So then they have this example of an podcast with background music. So let's go to that. And if, here, if you look at it, there are, I think, three speakers. Okay, so let's just listen to it. Welcome to Tech Forward, the show that unpacks the biggest stories in technology. I'm your host, Alice. And today, we are diving into one of the most anticipated and, frankly, most chaotic tech launches of the year, OpenAI's GPT-5. The hype was immense. Great to be here, Alice. It's certainly been an eventful launch. And we also have... Hey, Alice. Happy to be here. The community has definitely had a lot to say. Andrew, let's start with the official... So this is a podcast with background music. So here we have three speakers. And, you know, this was the kind of uh, the script. And this is the audio which has been generated. Right? So there are other examples of long audio also. So long conversation speech. This is a 42 minutes conversation speech which has been generated. This is one and a half hours. Right? Uh, which has been generated over here. And I think this has four speakers. Okay. Uh, this also has four speakers. So that is what they claim over here that this model can synthesize speech up to 90 minutes long with four distinct speakers. Previously, you had the typical one to speaker limits of prior models. So this model employs a next token diffusion framework leveraging a large language model to understand textual context and dialogue flow and a diffusion head to generate high fidelity acoustic detail. So it makes use of a combination of a diffusion model and an LLM. So if you were to look at some details over here, what they're saying is that the core innovation of Vibe Voice is its use of continuous speech tokenizers, audio, sorry, acoustic and semantic, operating at an ultra low frame rate of 7.5 Hertz. 
The tokenizers efficiently preserve audio fidelity while significantly boosting computational efficiency for processing long sequences. So Vibe Voice employs a next to uh, token diffusion framework, leveraging a large language model to understand textual context and dialogue flow and a diffusion head to generate high fidelity acoustic details. So the LLM used over here is Quen 2.51 billion parameter, which is used for this 1.5 billion parameter, uh, you know, model. Uh, and they explain about the tokenizers and the diffusion head over here. So you can look at it. So there are some limitations of this particular uh, model. Okay. So currently it's only in English and Chinese. That is what they're saying over here. Uh, the support is only in English and Chinese. I saw the limitation somewhere. Uh, see if it is here. Yeah. So um, the, it is only for English and Chinese currently. If you have other languages, it may result in unexpected audio outputs. So non-speech audio, this model focuses solely on speech synthesis and does not handle background noise, music or other sound effects. It is not able to handle overlapping speech. It does not explicitly model or generate overlapping speech segments in conversations. Okay. So what they're saying is that this model is intended for research and development purposes use responsibly. What is the license of this particular model? Uh, it's an MIT license, which means that you can use it for commercial purposes. Okay. So here they have some more details of what are the out of scope uses. So, you know, uh, this release is not intended or licensed for voice impersonation without explicit recorded consent, like cloning a real individual's voice. Okay. Uh, disinformation or impersonation. Uh, creating audio presented as genuine recordings of real people. It is not suitable for real time or low latency voice conversation, like for telephone or video conference, live deep fake applications supported only on English and Chinese data and generation of background ambience voice, uh, by voice speech only, and will not produce coherent non-speech audio. Okay. Basically the limitations again, which they have put, right? So you can check out this vibe voice model. You can also locally deploy it. Okay. So this is a 1.5 billion parameter model. Uh, so if you look at their GitHub, uh, there is also a 7 billion parameter model, which is available on hugging face, right? Whose context length is 32 K generation length, five minutes. This 1.5 billion parameters context length is 64 K tokens and 90 minutes of audio can be generated. There is a Vibe Voice 0.5 billion parameter streaming model, which is not yet released. Okay. This 7 billion parameter models, uh, still not, you know, details are not present over here about license and all those stuff. Okay. It's just weights are uploaded over here on Hugging Face. So what I did over here was, uh, because a lot of people are trying out the various spaces and the demo official demo over here. It's not, um, you know, I'm not getting access to that. So what I did was I picked up one of the spaces over here and I just duplicated the space and created my own space for this demo, okay? which is something which you can also do if you have a hugging face account. So I just duplicated the space and that is how I've been trying out this demo. If you look at the number of voices which are available over here. You have for English, you have, you know, um, how many female voices you have one. Two, it's the same allies, but with background music, Amaya. So you have three, uh, you know, for English voices, uh, three uh, female voices, and you have three male voices, I believe, or two over here. One, two, three. Yeah, three uh, male voices. For Chinese, you have two male voices and one female voice. Okay, so these are the pre existing voice which you have with this particular model. So this is an interesting release from Microsoft. You can go check out Vibe Voice. This is open source or open weights, right? So you can check out this particular uh, model for generating expressive long form multi-speaker conversational audio such as podcasts from text. I hope this video on Vibe Voice is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.